The CPU is the brain of your computer and also one of the most important PC components. The faster it is, the better your computer runs. Whether you're building a high-end PC, a content creation powerhouse, or you just want the best bang for your buck, I got you covered. Today, we are diving into the best CPUs that you can buy right now for your budget and needs. And on top of that, I will also cover the best graphics cards that you can pair with each CPU. You will find the link to these CPUs with the latest pricing and availability down below in the video description. My name is Valentino. That being said, let's start. With the first CPU, we have the best value CPU for gaming in the Ryzen 5 9600X. Now, this CPU used to be not so great when it comes to price or performance, but as of right now, it's going for 220 bucks. And in my opinion, this is the best value CPU that you can get. This one is a 6 core 12 thread processor that is very fast for any task, gaming, productivity work, or content creation. And the price, in my opinion, is great because it allows you to get a really nice graphics card. Now, in terms of high CPU demanding games or esports shooters, you can expect well over 240 plus FPS or even 360 plus FPS depending on your graphics card in competitive settings at 70p or 1440p resolution. Now, this is a value CPU, and if you want the best value GPU for this CPU, well, at the moment, in my opinion, the RX 7700 XT is your best option. And if you want something higher end, I recommend you the RX 9070 or RTX 5070. These graphics cards will be ideal for 1440p high to ultra settings gaming or very high FPS at 1080p resolution. And you can also run games at 4K depending on the game and depending on the settings. Now, if you need a CPU that has more cores because maybe your workloads require more cores, then I recommend you getting the Ryzen 7 7700. This is one of the best, most power efficient CPUs out there with eight cores and 16 threads. This CPU is amazing when it comes to content creation and productivity work. And of course, it's also great when it comes to gaming. Although when it comes to gaming, it's very similar compared to the Ryzen 5 9600X. So if you're just going to do gaming, having eight cores is not going to help you with your FPS. That being said, going for the Ryzen 5 processor might be the better idea if that allows you to upgrade to a better graphics card. However, the Ryzen 7 CPU, it's also really good when it comes to pricing at around 265 USD by the time of filming. Maybe when you're watching this, the price is a bit different because of the tariffs. Maybe the price is the same. Remember that you will have the link to these CPUs down in the video description with the latest prices and availability. And you will also find the graphics cards there as well, which by the way, for the Ryzen 7 7700, I recommend the same RX 7700 XT graphics card if you want to play at 1440p and you want a good value GPU. And then if you have more money to spend, I work when you're getting the RX 9070 XT or RTX 5070 Ti from NVIDIA. These GPUs are amazing when it comes to 1440p resolution high to ultra settings and they are also great when it comes to 4k resolution. Then if you have a bit of extra money to spend and you want to buy a CPU from Intel, I recommend you getting the Intel Core Ultra 7 265k. This is the only CPU from Intel that I actually like because the price is not insane at 330 bucks by the time of filming and it's also one of the best CPUs when it comes to productivity work, content creation and also gaming at the same time. I really like the value of this CPU, just keep in mind that if you go with Intel, you don't have a crazy upgrade path, meaning that if, for example, instead of going with this CPU, you go with a Ryzen 7 processor, down the line, you can upgrade up to the fastest CPU in the entire market, which I will be talking about in this video. Going with AMD gives you a more upgradable path. But again, if you want to go with Intel, then this Intel Core Ultra 7, in my opinion, is the best overall CPU that you can buy. And if you want the best value graphics card alongside the CPU, I recommend you at least the RX 9070 or RTX 5070. And then if you want something that's higher end, I recommend you the 9070 XT or RTX 5070i. Talking about gaming, if you want one of the fastest CPUs in the entire market, then I recommend you getting the next one, which is the Ryzen 7 7800 X3D. And you might be wondering why would anyone want one of the fastest CPUs for gaming? Well, if you play, high FPS games like Valorant or Fortnite, having a better CPU will give you higher FPS, which might be an advantage if these are your favorite games, especially if you play at 1080p resolution, competitive settings. That being said, with the 7800X3D, you can max out any monitor refresh rate with the right graphics card, which means that you can get a 
1080p 540Hz monitor or 1440p 480Hz if the GPU is the right one, that way you can hit those numbers consistently. That's why if you want the best value graphics card alongside the CPU, I would recommend you at least the RX 9070 XT or RTX 5070 Ti, although you can go with the 9070 if you want a better value gaming PC for esports games. And then for the max graphics card, you can pair it with the RTX 5080 or even RTX 5090. So you can go with the max graphics card in the entire market if you have the CPU. And then the price for this graphics card is 410 bucks, which is expensive, but it's cheaper than it previously was a couple of months ago. And if you want the fastest CPU for gaming in the market, well, for 480 bucks, you can get the newer version of the 7800X 3D, which is the 9800X 3D. This one is slightly faster, and I would only recommend you upgrading to this CPU if you really need the extra FPS in esports games. If you play high GPU demanding titles like Cyberpunk 2077 or the last of Aspar 1, games of that nature, you will not notice the difference between the 9800X 3D and the 7800X 3D, or even the Ryzen 7 7700 or the Intel Core Ultra 7 processor. So if you play high demanding GPU titles, then any of these CPUs is going to be just fine. Specifically, if you play esports games and you need the advantage, well, the 9800X 3D is going to be slightly faster, and that might be huge for you, depending on the games that you play. For the graphics cards, you can of course pair it with the RTX 5090, which is the max graphics card in the market, but if you want something more value oriented, then go with the 9070 XT or RTX 5070 Ti. And then if you want one of the best CPUs in the market overall, so you want one of the best CPUs for content creation, 3D work, 3D rendering, gaming, all of it combined, then I recommend you getting a Ryzen 9 9950X. This is a 16 core CPU, that's going to be amazing for any task, especially if you're a professional content creator who also wants to do gaming. In my opinion, this is going to be the best CPU that you can get, unless you have way more money to spend and you just want the best of the best, which I will be talking about in a second. But the 9950X is going to be one of the best choices for creators and gamers if you want a complete CPU. Now, since Nvidia works better with most content creation and productivity work applications, if you want a graphics card alongside the CPU, I would recommend you getting the RTX 5070 Ti, or of course, if you have more money to spend, the RTX 5080 or RTX 5090. And then if you want the best graphics card in the market overall, I recommend you getting the latest Ryzen 9 9950X 3D. This is the best CPU for creators and gamers in the entire world. So. It only makes sense that you get the RTX 5090 for your graphics card, which is the fastest graphics card in the market, since you are already spending a bunch of money on this CPU, which by the way, at the moment is going for almost 900 USD. Very, very expensive, especially considering that the MSRP for the CPU is around 700 USD. So you are already paying a premium because these CPUs are not selling for its MSRP. And then as a bonus CPU, on the other side, if you want something that's cheaper than the cheapest CPU that I've mentioned, I recommend you going on AliExpress and buying the Ryzen 5 7500F. That CPU is quite similar compared to the Ryzen 5 9600X, when it comes to gaming performance and it's going for around 120 to 140 bucks so quite cheap honestly and you can pair it with most graphics cards in the market except for the rtx 5080 5090 so i would highly recommend you buying this cpu if you are looking for a budget pc build to pair with basically any graphics card except those two thank you guys for watching also down in the video description you will find my personal pc help in case you want me to help you out find the right system for you and of course you will find these cpus with the right graphics cards with the latest pricing and availability thank you for watching and i will see you on the next one